used uh, the recent development of a new technology called the CRISPR Cas9 um, to treat the Huntington disease mouse model. And this technology, you can remove the mutant gene so that no more toxic protein is produced. So what the CRISPR Cas9 can do is to remove the, the part of the DNA that produce that toxic protein. So once that is removed, it's permanent. It's not a temporary. When you have a single gene mutation, it's easy to be treated by this kind of technology. So this can also be used for myotonic dystrophy, which is also a single gene mutation. Or like fragile X syndrome, is also uh, repeats expansion, single gene mutation cause the disease. So I think there are a couple of challenges for using the crispr cas 9 gene editing technique in the human disease. First, the crispr cas 9 machinery is a pretty large component. It has to be carried by a carrier such as viral vectors um, to be injected into the human. So we don't know what is the long-term effect. The second challenge is that the human brain or human body is a large volume compared to the mice. So how to deliver the whole thing into such a much bigger volume is another challenge.